everybody um so today we're gonna go and take um a look at harriet tubman's house and um harriet tubman's grave but i guess the harriet tubman's house tour is closed for now due to covid so we'll um we'll show you more pictures when we get to the cemetery Harriet Tubman's grave. So we just arrived to Harriet Tubman's house and um, the Harriet Tubman tours, it says, are suspended until further notice. So they have this house behind the fence and apparently that's, we're not sure. This one says Harriet Tubman house and then this one over here says Harriet Tubman house. So we're not exactly sure on which one it is. This one is all fenced in, the white one is. But the white one's not as old as the brick one. So I'm going to do some more research and we'll let you know what we figure out. Hey everybody. I just wanted to give you some background information on um, Harriet Tubman. Um, so she was born in Dor Dorchester County, Maryland in 1820. She was born into slavery, so they really don't know her real birth date. Um, she was born as Araminta Ross, which they call their Minty. She was the fifth of nine children born. Uh, her story mainly starts when she's about five years old. Um, she was a, a house slave slash servant. And from there, she stayed there till about seven years. And from there, she went from being a house servant to working in the fields. By then, she was a teenager. And um, she... So around about 1844, she married a free man named John Tubman where she changed her name from Araminta to Harriet after her mother and then in 1849 Harriet along with other slaves they decided to run away because um, instead of being sold to another plantation they just decided that they were going to run away and that was pretty much the start of the journey. Um, Harriet was best known for being the Underground Railroad conductor. She had a 10 year span of saving um, 300 slaves. She made 19 trips down south and back up north to free them. And then that was when she, so a total number of probably about 13 or 300 slaves that she had saved. Um, by 1856, uh, Harriet's capture had, had n she's never been captured, but um, the South was offering a reward of $40,000 for her to be caught, which she never was. And then Harriet went on to work during the Civil War. She worked as a cook, a nurse, and even a spy. 
after the war, she and she she decided that she was going to live out her her long life in Auburn, New York. She died on March 10th, 1913 at 93 years old and she was surrounded by her friends and family. She was pretty amazing for sure. Um, she was known as the American abolitionist and she was very heavy into politics and, and was an activist for it. And she also had a movement to end women's suffrage. And the cemetery with her final resting place is called Fort Hill Cemetery and it's in Auburn, New York. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day. Thank you.